Alright, so there were a lot of Simpsons related games. Simpsons games up the ass. Games like Krusty's Funhouse, Bart vs. the Juggernauts, Bart's Nightmare. There were Simpsons games on just about every game console. But there's two in particular that I remember from the Nintendo Entertainment System. Bart vs. the Space Mutants and Bart vs. the World. These games rank up with the most classic pop culture memories. But if you play them today, all it does is remind you how much they pissed you off. Bringing back the horrible memories of these games can best be described like this. Imagine if you trapped a wet smelly piece of dog shit inside an airtight container. Then, like 20 years later, you open that shit up, you take a good smell, and there you go. Welcome back. So this is Bart vs. the Space Mutants. The plot involves aliens that are trying to build an ultimate weapon to take over the world, which sounds simple and cliché. However, in order to build this weapon, whatever it is, it requires one ingredient. Purple colored objects. What kind of time constraint were they under when they came up with that? So it's up to Bart to save the world, and this is the first level, and the object is to get rid of anything that's purple. Under most circumstances, this means simply spray painting them red, but other times you have to be a little more creative to figure it out. It can mean walking across a clothesline, dropping towels over them. The aliens will never think to look under those towels. Then there's the part where you have to jump on a ball and knock over a paint can, and if you miss this paint can, the ball doesn't come back. You don't get a second chance. And keep in mind, you have to de-purpleize all the purple objects. I think you're allowed to miss a few of them, but there's not much room to fuck up. You collect coins as you go, which you're going to need to buy stuff with. The first time playing through, you're not going to know exactly what items you're going to need. And I can tell you for one thing, that key isn't necessary. And as for this whistle, all it does is summon an angry fucking crazy ass dog that kills Bart if he comes in contact. Come into a decision where you can buy cherry bombs and rockets, how many should you buy of each? Well, there's only one instance I recall where you need the cherry bomb, and many, many, many times when you need the rockets. But how the fuck would you know that the first time? You'll end up having to backtrack to the damn store. Trying to hit the bird is just ridiculous. Your accuracy has to be perfect. Fuck! Oh god, I can't believe that missed. There you go, you fuck! These vases are also a pain in the ass. They're too short to spray when you're on the ledge, so you gotta just keep jumping and spraying. And you know, why is the Simpsons theme song still playing? It's good for the beginning, but when you have to listen to it for 10 straight minutes? What a shitload of fuck. Let's talk about the enemies. It sucks butt that you can't really kill anything, but lucky for you, they got nothing better to do than just bounce around in little patterns on the streets of Springfield all day. I also wonder why none of these aliens look anything like the ones in the beginning. Anyway, some of them disguise themselves as human beings, and you can only see them while wearing x-ray glasses, kind of like the movie They Live. These are the only ones that you can kill by jumping on their heads, but if it's not an alien, just a regular human being, then you take a hit. Two hits, and you're dead, by the way. So you always gotta make sure to have your glasses selected. Come on, glasses, come on, come on, glasses, come on, go, go, ah, oh, fuck farts. Sometimes I just jump on them out of pure gamble because I don't feel like selecting the glasses. You don't need to kill them anyway, but they leave behind letters. Collect them all to spell Maggie, then she'll help you during the boss battle. But besides, it's strangely satisfying to jump on those aliens' heads. After all, don't you wish you can just go around killing aliens? Not making purple things not purple? Why not just fucking shit all over and make everything brown? So, you foil the aliens' plans because now there's nothing purple in existence. So, what do they do? They change the ingredient to hats. So, if it can just switch like that into anything, why not make it something like grass or water or something that's really easy to find? It just makes no sense. So, you're going through the mall, stealing all the hats because this is the only mall that has hats. Whether they're floating in the air or you gotta grab them off somebody's head, the concept is pretty simple compared to the first level. No ingenuity, just collect hats. The imagination employed is just astounding in how inconsistent it is. It's like a different person designed each level. It's also really funny that people just casually walk by. If I was walking through the mall and I saw giant bouncing donuts and killer marshmallows, walking shoes and spring jumping shoes, moonwalking shoes, paper bags with legs, paper bags with scary fucking heads, and killer towels, I think I'd shit my pants. Shit would come out of my ass. Another thing really fucked up about this mall is that a lot of the floor is covered in cement, which results in instant death. The only way to get through this shit is master some of the worst controls in video game history. 
This should have been the first thing I commented on, but now is the point where it's really a problem. Looking back at the first level, it takes a lot of practice to make some of those jumps. Jump and run are both the same button. The A button jumps and holding the A button runs. Why the same fucking button? What were they thinking? So trying to execute a running jump is not possible. By hitting both the A and B button at the same time, you do a super jump. Getting used to this is required in this game. Fuck! Here we go, gotta get the hat, get the hat, do oh! He's my short. Now I'm jumping across lollipops, gotta land on them when they're horizontal. You motherfucker, I went right through it! Alright, just one big jump. Eat my fucking shorts! There's no continues in this game either. If you get hit twice, you're dead. Die three times and the game's over. You can get some one-ups, but no continues. As if it's not challenging enough. Now, I don't have a problem with challenge, but when the challenge is based on how fucking crippled the controls are, then fuck it! Eat my shorts. Eat them good. Right after I took a shitty diarrhea dump. So this is Bart vs. the World. The title always confused me. Bart saved the world from the space mutants. Now he's against the world? The plot is basically Bart won a trip around the world by drawing some shitty picture of Krusty the Clown for an art contest. Now Mr. Burns wants the Simpsons wiped off the face of the earth, so he calls help from his relatives, which happen to descend from places like China, Egypt, and the North Pole. Your basic goal is just to get to the end of each stage without dying. There's also bonus games along the way. And here we got a memory game to match the cards. I liked it when it was in Super Mario 3, but here, I just don't feel like memorizing shit. I'd rather put sticky notes all over the screen. Then you got Guess Which Igloo the Krusty Head's under. Then you have a puzzle game which drives me insane. Then you got a Simpsons trivia game. Then you got Dodge the Beer and Get the Krusty Heads. Krusty Heads are good, beer is bad. Makes a whole lot of sense. Then you got the stupidest fucking game in the history of games. Find the bat in the coffins. Now, this isn't like the igloo game, where you see which igloo it is, and then they move around. No, this is just three coffins sitting here, and you gotta pick the right one. It's just pure luck. And every time you get the wrong coffin, this green arm comes out, and you just gotta wait, while nothing happens. It's not like Bart's even struggling. You just wait. So that's the bonus stages, now that I got those out of the way, let's talk about the actual gameplay. Every level consists of two or more sections. The first level's China, and this is the first section, a boat. First thing you'll notice is that the control is the same as Bart vs. Space Mutes. Nothing's improved. Even the graphics are still funny, like when Bart's nose disappears when he stands still. So I'm just going around this ship, trying to figure out where to go. Oh look, there's Maggie. And what do I do here? Okay, a boat comes and explodes? I don't get it. Now, where do I go? I'm stuck here. Maggie, can you help? No? Well, suck my ass. Guess I'm just gonna commit suicide. Love how Bart doesn't even give a shit. He's pretty depressed. I'd be too. The next section is the Great Wall of China. What really brings my piss to a boil is that fucking dragon. Fuck! And the fact that you have to be so accurate to get through that damn doorway. Oh, and these ramps? Fuck them. Fuck them to hell. You gotta be going fast to go over them, but you always seem to hit something that slows you down, so you gotta go back just to regain your speed. Fuck! Oh, 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 oh! Fuck! So then you got Fu Manchu Burns. He's pretty easy. Moving on to the next level, the North Pole. Of course, unless your jumping is dead on, you'll end up falling right through the platforms. Ugh, going up these things is just tedious as all hell, like, goddamn. These glaciers are the worst. To make a move, you gotta jump on them, of course. Getting across them is a bitch, and trying to avoid the birds is a mother bitch. Fuck. Alright, here we go. Damn! Fuck, fuck, fuck! The boss battles with the Abominable Snowburns, obviously a takeoff of the Abominable Snowman, which isn't from the North Pole. Next up is Egypt. Follow the blocks, follow the blocks, shit. Look, what a piece of shit. At the end, you got Ramsey's Burns, who's also pretty easy when you find out how to kill him. Now, believe it or not, you're in the final level of the game, Hollywood. The first section's a pirate ship. Your worst enemy is gonna be the cannonballs. Hate these fucking things. Then you got a horror movie set. <laughs> I have to say, that's pretty funny. 
Then the game turns into a maze. Like you go into a coffin, you come out another coffin, you pick a coffin, next coffin, other coffin. Oh, been there already. Going through the coffins, the coffins, the coffins. Back here again, going to the next coffin, the coffins, coffins. Fuck! I hate this shit. Just tell me where to go. Okay, now we got like a million platforms to jump on. This is one of the most boring and difficult parts of any game I've ever played. You go from the left, all the way to the right, then up and over to the left again, then back to the right, and it goes on, and on, and on, and on. If you fall, you're dead, and you gotta start all the way back from the beginning. It's possible that if you miss a jump, you can land back on one of the platforms, which sucks anyway because you have to work your way back up again, but at least it prevents death. Oh shit! God! Bitch! Ass! Shit! God! You know, they got really carried away with this. How long can it possibly go? The first time, I thought there was a glitch in the game, like something was wrong. It looks like the same pattern being repeated again and again. The background never changes, it's just those putrid stone bricks all the way up. So it's hard to tell how far you got. All you gotta do is just keep going up, 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 up. Have fucking mercy. At least this is the end of the game. All you got left is Eric Von Burns. He's probably the hardest of all the bosses, which is rightfully so. Then you get the end screen which says, It's too bad you didn't find all the unique crusty items. We had a special surprise for you. It's like at the end of Bubble Bobble, when you don't get the correct happy ending. It's like, you know, fuck you. I beat the game. I don't give a shit. I just wanted to point out that for a game titled Bart vs. The World, there really isn't a lot of the world in the game. No shit, right? Just Egypt, China, the North Pole, and Hollywood? Pretty fucking educational, right? When I was 11 years old, my whole world was video games. Just locked in my room playing Bart vs. the Space Mutants and all this crap. I mean, I wasted all my time on this shit. I want it back. It ruined my life. Bart's my ass and Krusty's my balls. Fuck this shit, now I'm gonna eat my own shorts. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna